What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about SumoBot 2. <laughs> And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. It's just amazing. Um, my students just, I ask, I give them questionnaires and they always tell me SumoBot is number one as far as the most fun project that just allows them to have, uh, to take their knowledge and put it into a super cool uh, project. So what I always do is I do a SumoBot 2 later on in the year just so they're able to use what they've learned from SumoBot 1 and all the sensors and things that they build um, so they can put it together and get a redo. Uh, students love to get a redo for those of you that teach robotics. They love to say, you know what, I, I learned something, I'm better for it. And then that's when SumoBot 2 comes in. So they're super excited. So this video is not necessarily going to be about the SumoBots competing. I'm just going to go around my room and ask them different things that they're doing to the robots, different things they've learned from the first time. Now they're learning it and putting it and applying it to their new SumoBot 2 robot. So check out these responses. Explain your SumoBot. What are the features here for it? Okay, so we got these things that like scoop up the robot so we can push it off. Okay. And this is still a work in progress, but it should be like so to if protect. Hit from the side, so if it gets hit from the side, it won't work. For protection? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's Ultrasonics there in the front, color sensor there. Okay. What are your features? Um, we tried to like, we wanted to extend the RAM because. So these curved panels are just an extension of your ramp? Yeah, so like they can grab the wheels and they can like go like top okay. and like push it. What about this in the back? And then on the back, because some people like they come from the back and like with the ramp and they get our ball bearings, we try to feel like What's gonna happen with these black gears? You don't know? Okay. So they got the ultrasonic like, here. It's kind of like Where's a your color sensor? Oh. It's right there. Ooh, okay. You don't think that's too far back? No, we tried it. Okay. Okay, so tell me here, what do we have, what features do you have for your robot here? What is this medium motor supposed to do? So this medium motor is supposed to spin it this thing around like that. What is your goal to, for that? What do you hope to do? I hope to like break, break for defense and maybe break something off. Okay. Very cool. Talk to me about the features of your robot. What is purposely meant to do something? Well, inside the front, we have our ultrasonic, then we have our color sensor. We have some things blocking our wheels so they can't go to it. We just finished creating this to block our back wheel. We have this. First, it was going to stop them, but now it stops their color sensors. So if they're charging at us and they have an educator bot, the color sensor will hit this and back. And um, we just started adding stuff, and it's really firm. Not many things break off, okay. and it is very tough. So what is this for? This for is like pushing the like. It looks like, kind of like a shield, like where I get to like. It does look like a shield. Yeah, I know. That's what Ariana built. So this is like where I kind of like push people back. You know? So is it is it for defense or is yeah, it for like, offense too? This is like offense and defense. Too, okay. Because it has to. And your drill and is your that drill, for decoration? No, it also is like an attack. You know? But your drill, it looks like it's. Will the robot hit your ultrasonic before anything hits this drill? Oh, yeah. Maybe, huh? Yeah. Okay. And you have your decorative flags. Yeah. We're building a ramp? Yeah, we're building a ramp because I just remembered that, that one of our strengths was using a ramp last time, and so we kind of forgot about that. What's the ramp going to do? The ramp's going to push. Say when we're getting caught, and it's going to push the other opponent's robot. What are these curved panels for? 
You just those yeah. um, those stop them from coming at us from the side. Yeah. Because when it goes back, when it collides into us, it doesn't push us. Okay. Okay, guys. So there you have it. And we're already getting going on official matches. So my next video is going to show you some official matches that have taken place. And hopefully, you know, you guys in your class can be involved in a sumo bot competition because they're super fun. And they allow students to take everything they've learned and kind of put it into one class competition. And maybe it can even go further, you know, to different schools. Who knows? Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Machines Lego Robotics. I'm out.